So yesterday I posted a video showing my 20 watt split fiber laser marking a grid showing a bunch of boxes that will mark different power settings and different speed settings. So the idea was that I could get an idea of how, mark, how dark I could mark on aluminum. So a friend of mine who actually bought a laser before me has a 30 watt version and his laser source is also a Rakus but it is the cabinet style laser. But very similar. Now, there is one big difference. He's got a massive marking area. It's something like, well, it's bigger than the platform you're seeing. It's over 360 by 360 millimeters, and I think that'll reduce the efficiency of the laser, so it's going to be a lighter mark at this uh, for the same settings. And this file is the exact same file I used on my test of the 20-watt laser. So we can expect to see a lighter mark. So all I'm doing is using the exact same piece of machined aluminum and I'm pulling up the same settings. I did mark it a couple times just to see what was going on. It seemed to get the best mark in the center of the laser's field. So this is actually the third time I ran this test and you're seeing the laser crosshatch each one of these boxes. So if you notice in the bottom right of the screen, that's my original 20 watt laser marking. And also all of these text marks you're seeing on top right corner and the bottom left corner are done by my 20 watt laser. The top left text mark I'll show you in a second that was done by this 30 watt laser and I believe that was done at 300 millimeters per second. And the one in the center in the bottom is also done by this 30 watt laser. So the big difference I see looking at this grid is that the dark marks really come around 60 percent power instead of 40 percent power on my 20 watt. And I'll show a photo of this when we're done so you can see a little more clearly. And I'll also have a piece of S7 tool steel later that you can see what that mark, what this grid does to that material. One thing that is a little bit different about this mark compared to all the other marks on this piece of metal are that these power labels and speed labels that are getting marked right now, these are done with a default pen that I had set up to do that text mark on the top left corner of this piece. So they're going to show up a little bit darker than all the other marks. So don't compare these speed and, and uh, power labels to all the other speed and power labels. But the rest of the grid is a fair comparison. So now I'm just flipping it around to show you the original 20 watt mark that I made, that it really starts to show up around 40% power. So this is just another mark of text with the 30 watt laser and it is going to be done at 300 millimeters per second and 20 kilohertz and I believe 90% power. Just to kind of give a comparison of the text marks from the 20 watt that are already on the plate and put down something similar. The hatching is exactly the same, 0.05 millimeters with a single cross hatch. It's white after the initial marking, so if you wipe it off, you can see the marked area. Here's a picture of the final result with the 30 watt grids all being in the center of the picture and the text from the 30 watt being on the top left. Everything else is 20 watt. Now this is a piece of S7 tool steel that we're going to mark the exact same grid as we were using on the aluminum and using the same power and speed settings that were already set up in the grid. Now at this point the labels for power and speed are probably also going to be the default pen so they may show up a little bit darker than previous markings. The one thing that is noticeable about these as compared to the aluminum is that you get a little bit of a yellowish tinge even if you wipe it off it's a little noticeable and again this is just a single crosshatch so we're not really going for depth so much here and I'm certainly no expert but I think if you marked it more than once you can do multiple passes even multiple crosshatch passes or if you change the frequency maybe a little bit lower to 20 kilohertz it probably could get a little more depth
And here's a close-up picture that can hopefully give you a better idea of what the end result is. After marking the block of S7, we put it on a surface plate with an indicator so you can kind of see what kind of effect a laser had on the surface. Some of these are just a few tenths, but some are a full thousandth. If you didn't see the original video where I marked the block of aluminum with my 20 watt laser, you can see that if you click on the links in my channel. And if you have any questions about this or any thoughts, feel free to leave them in the comments.